What do selected shorts mean to me? I will try to keep this short. I moved to New York when I was 26, and by that point I had already been taping, taping selected shorts at Symphony Space on NPR every Sunday at 4 p.m., I think was the time. And so I have a stack of cassette tapes of performances that I have committed to memory from people like Hope Davis, I have William Hurt reading Miley Malloy's Travis B. My favorite reader was always Parker Posey because they would always give her the funny weird stories. And the funny weird stories are always my favorite. So I moved to New York and I could only afford to go to Symphony Space once a season. So I would always go for the best American short story evenings. And I would always sit in the same spot it would be um, the balcony on stage right. So I was always kind of hovering above Isaiah Shepherd and the crowd. And, and I hope this doesn't offend anyone because I loved this, but I was always the youngest by a lot, which I loved because it made me feel like a real New Yorker. And they were really beautiful nights. It took many years for Selected Shorts to pick one of my stories to be read at Symphony Space. And that night, Colby Minifee read my short story, Edna in Rain, which is about a woman who literally walks through precipitation made out of her ex-lovers. And for the seven or eight minutes that it took Colby to read that short story, I felt like I floated up above my body and just hovered in midair happily listening to her read and she did it really beautifully. And it was one of those nights in New York that I felt the way I always thought being a writer would feel in the city. I've wanted to be a writer my entire life and Selected Shorts has been an accompanying voice in my journey in New York and I'm so very grateful for it. I don't think there's anything better than hearing someone read you a great story. So thank you, I'm grateful.